Hey loves, it's I. Back again with another video. So for today's video, as you can see on the title, I will be doing some tips and tricks on decluttering. There's a lot of ways and techniques on what you can do, what you cannot do while decluttering. You can use these tricks, you can use these tips that I'm about to tell you guys so that your cleaning experience can be a worthwhile. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure to subscribe to my channel guys and don't forget to also like this video. Kung gusto mo pa ng mga clean with me videos, quarantine videos. So, nakapag-subscribe ka na ba? Let's go! Maraming ways para maglinis. Actually, there are no rules when you're cleaning. But the organizing and declutter part is the tricky one. Since naglilinis ka na, you have the opportunity to organize, to get organized with your things. And that will make your area much much cleaner so kung maglilinis ka don't just clean it get organized declutter it and your life will change forever tip number one set your goals guys this one is very important and you have to be very realistic with this one we can be as ambitious as we want but what i am telling about ambitious is kung gaano kadami yung gagawin mo in a day you cannot tell me to do your house, to clean your house in a day. That is just an unrealistic goal. Siguro nga kaya ng iba, pero I gotta say na it's not a thorough cleaning. So kung ikaw gusto mo ng thorough cleaning, gusto mo na talagang every bit of it, you'll be able to check everything, you can declutter everything. Well then, hindi mo kaya ng isang araw yon. Maglaan ka ng araw na what you're gonna do for today. For tomorrow, for the next day, stationary or your office area small or your mga paperwork small, you can set it for today. For tomorrow, you can do the kitchen and then next day, yung closet mo. Yung closet mo, pwedeng three days mo siya, kasama na dun yung shoes. And then the other day is the living room and the dining set, yung mga ganon. Pantry, just be realistic about it. You can say na it's just the bedroom. There's a lot of things that you can tackle in that area. It's just the major part of your house that you can tackle. So one at a time lang. Just be realistic. Kasi may ganon, may ganon tayong trait na we want to finish a lot of things today. It tends to procrastinate everything. And the shortcut tayo, we're looking for some shortcuts from some some cheats that we can do to finish it. And we'll feel accomplished. But you know what? Deep inside you know that you didn't really clean it. So just be realistic. Some tip ko, since you're gonna do a lot of decluttering and cleaning, I suggest you listen to some music rather than watching Netflix. So I've tried both and I gotta say na mas productive ako when I'm listening to music because I don't have to look at the screen to watch some Netflix or to read the subtitles. I know it can be very intimidating na may nagagawa ka habang nanonood ka in, the net, in Netflix but you know what? Medyo nagmamadali ka eh pagka ganun. Mag-focus ka sa work mo. You can also try to explore music na pwede mong matutunan. Number two, segregate. There's actually three categories for that. Toss, sell, donate. So, yun toss, yung mga bagay na hindi mo na kailangang, hindi mo na kayang mabenta. Hindi mo na din kayang madonate. Minsan, pagka meron tayong random pile or tinatawag na I'll do this pile later, medyo nagiging clutter lang siya. I suggest that when you hold on to something, kung may itotoss ka or isisell ka or donate ka, you decide now kung anong gagawin mo sa item na yun. For the sell part, there are a lot of platforms naman that you can use to sell. There's Carousel, there's Lazada, there's Shopee, there's Marketplace, Facebook, also Instagram. And there's also garage sales, so there's a lot of things that you can do if you want to sell those things. So for donations naman, you can search for the nearest orphanage near you, or you can search for some orphanages na mas appropriate yung donations mo. For example, damit, sapatos, or like dresses, saan ba yun mas appropriate na donate mo, donate mo siya doon. Three, 
find home for everything. Marami tayong ganyan, hindi natin napapansin. Bubuksan natin yung pencil drawers natin and then makakita tayo doon ng thumbtack or pins or minsan parang mga pako, mga ganon. Everything that you own has to have a home. So for example, if you have pako, mag-set ka ng lalagyan ng for all your pakos, all your pins, all your thumbtacks. Para in the future, pag hahanapin mo sila, you know where to find them. And it'll be much easier for you as well. Kasi minsan kung sobrang dami ng lugar natin, like kunyari may pencil tayo dito, may pencil tayo sa ibang drawer, may pencil tayo sa ibang drawer. And then pag kailangan na natin sila, wala na. So, isang way yun na hindi naging successful yung past cleaning experience mo. Kasi hindi mo mahanap yung hinahanap mo. So, yung mga boxes mo, you can put some labels for you to be able to easily identify kung ano yung nasa loob. Kung hindi man, kung opaque man yung boxes mo. Put some labels. Kung ano siya, kung mga semi-gloss or mga semi-gloss finish siya nakita yung loob. It's okay naman. You can still put labels. Better kung clear siya. Nasa loob. Kung nasa loob naman siya ng closet mo, tapos clear siya. In that way, kahit walang labels, you can easily see kung ano yung nasa loob niya. Number four. Spark Joy. If you haven't watched Marie Kondo, kung nanonood ka ng Netflix, isa sa mga best series na pwede nyo panoorin is yung Marie Kondoing. Siya sa mga sobrang life-changing that you can do. They're gonna teach you everything about decluttering. Kaya marami din akong na-adopt and nakuha sa kanya. Hindi lang I use it just for this time, but I use it for everything that I do now. Hindi na ako masyadong satisfied sa linis ko. It has to be the Marie Kondo standard cleaning. In explain to sa video ni Marie Kondo, what is spark joy? You have to touch every item and feel if it has spark joy. I know, it sounds silly for some. You'll be able to feel it. Sabi nga ni Marie Kondo, when you touch it, you feel excited. You feel happy. You feel empowered. So, it means, if it has spark joy, you have to keep it. If it doesn't, or medyo nag-aalangan ka, meaning the answer is no. It does not spark joy. It's, it's really important na hawakan mo ang mga items and feel it kung nagsaspark ba to sa'yo ng joy. Last but not the least, five, Organizing your stuff according to its categories. I will give you guys examples of items. I'll also categorize it according to organization. How tips? Clothes. Organize it according to type. Separate mo lahat ng dresses mo, ng pants, ng shorts, ng skirts, ng tops, ng mga long sleeves, mga overalls, unders, mga ganon, coats, jackets. Then after the type. You can organize it according to materials. Heaviest yung mga nasa elalim, o kaya yung mga nasa baba. Heaviest materials or bulkiest materials. Mga maong, yan ipapaba mo yan. And then last but not the least is the color. Ikaw na bahala kung paano mo yan. Kung gusto mo, Roy G. Beeb. Isha-shade shading mo yan. It's very organized. I know, it's kind of a lot when I say it. Pero pag natapos mo yan, and when you look at your closet, you look at your clothes, parang ayaw mo na siyang hawakan. In that way, you'll be able to also identify kung anong klaseng damit yun. For your shoes, you can organize it according to type as well. Rubber shoes, sandals, flats, boots, um, gladiators, yung mga matatas na boots. And after that, organize each categories according to color. And for the papers, for your paperwork, kung ano man yun, kung nag-aaral ka man or nag-work ka man, I'm sure na meron kang papel sa bahay. There's a lot of categories as well. Pag samang-samay mo lahat ng papers na meron ka all over your house. Kitchen, living, desk, room, whatever that is, organize it. Pwede ka ng apat na pile for important pile, to-do pile, done pile, trash pile, toss pile. Yes, pwede mo siyang ilagay sa mga clear books. Kung gusto mo nang mag, pwede ka maglagay ng tatlong clear books, i-clear books mo lahat yung mga to-do list mo para makikita mo yung mga kailangan bayaran, kailangan gawin. Tapos yung mga done, pwede mong ilagay sa folder. Yung important nakalagay sila sa harapan ng clear book mo. You can do that as well. You can be a lot organized than ever. I hope that you learn nothing or two. Kung na-inspire man kayo, please let me know. You can tag me on my Instagram account or Twitter account, Suzuki IF, and let me know kung anong mga progress nyo with cleaning. I'll also update you guys with my 
new clean with me room video after this decluttering video i promise to do it so that you will also be inspired to clean your room as well not just clean deep cleans go on with comments do little make sure to comment this emoji so yeah thank you guys for watching and i hope to see you in my next one bye